Alright, hi guys, and welcome back to the monthly mini-review. This time, we have a very special guest today, namely, Grief, hosted by Iced Cave. The prospected top one. Hardest level in the game. How exciting. I recently posted a tweet about this level, and as always, this must be a character flaw of mine, but I already kind of assumed that everybody thought that this level was kind of bad, uh, so I expressed this opinion, and a lot of people seem to disagree with me on this, which is really surprising. Because to me, Grief perfectly fills that role of the stereotypical, generic, hell-themed extreme demon. It's even the prospected top one level. Like, how much more generic can you get, right? I've looked at Grief several times at this point, and I still cannot remember for the life of me what it looks like. It is so uninspired and fucking boring, dude. But that's not all there is to this level, because this isn't Iced Cave's first project either. I think Grief is exceptionally bad in comparison to something like one of his previous projects, Slafter House. Slafter House is also a beloved level in this community, which is a sentiment I don't really share, but at, at least I get the argument behind Slafter House, right? Because Slafter House has very simple straightforward gameplay that's easy to parse as an outside observer, like some cube jumps and some straight flying. And well, the wave gameplay is kind of a, an outlier in that respect, which is also why I think the wave parts are probably the weakest in that level. I think Slafter House, if anything, is pretty good at conveying how difficult it really is because the gameplay is relatively straightforward. And while it's easy to see, of course, that grief is also really difficult, I think it loses some of that elegance. Another thing about grief is the song choice. It's fucking stalemate again. You can't you can't pick Stalemate, okay? Stalemate is off-limits, because Stalemate is a song that is already used by Stalemate, and that level is so fucking iconic. Anytime anybody in the community hears the song Stalemate, they will be thinking about that level. And Stalemate is just a better level than Grief. Stalemate is in-your-face and unique and colorful, and it still manages to be really intimidating, even if it is a little goofy about it. Maybe this is just an old-gen thing, but back in the day, Stalemate used to be a really intimidating presence in the community. And that's something Grief just doesn't really capture, because the song is just reminiscent of Stalemate by Nox. And also, there's another extreme demon that also already uses Stalemate. It's Stalemate Redux, another inferior level to Stalemate. Man, if you're gonna use Stalemate the song, you at least have to make a better level than Stalemate the level. And Grief does not succeed. And that's another thing that Slafter House has over Grief. Because at least Slafter House has a unique song that isn't overshadowed by another level that already uses that same song. And this might seem trivial to you, it might seem unfair, to negatively rate grief on the song choice, but this shit is important, man. It's basically half of the experience of the entire level. So yeah, to summarize, there are three major points that grief fails on as a level. First, it's generic as fuck. I'm sorry, there's, there's no elegant way to phrase this. Second, it doesn't supersede its predecessors. It's just not as good at being a top one as something like Slafter House. And third, the song choice makes it reminiscent of another better level, which is poison for its artistic value. And yeah, that basically sums it up for me. Special shout out to my grandpa demons on Patreon for choosing this level for this month's review. Belfry Clock and Emma Bell Helium. My apologies, Emma. I know you wanted me to compare Grief to Teeth Fortress 2, but I found that comparing it to Stalemate and Slafter House was more pertinent and illustrated by points better. And thanks for watching, everybody. See you later.